Hello and welcome. Will Oscar voters go with a high-energy dance number from an Indian language film or a superstar? This is the dilemma that voters face as they consider the five nominees for Best Song for 2022, and voting begins today. Lift Me Up by Rihanna from Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, and Lady Gaga from Top Gun. Hold My Hand. Maverick and David Byrne, who sang This Is A Life From Everything Everywhere All At Once, are competing for the role. However, despite all of that star power, the Telugu film RRRS Nadu Nadu has emerged as the current frontrunner. It all depends on what voters are interested in during the six-day voting period. There are numerous examples in Oscar history of songs that won over voters at the last minute due to the radio play or, more recently, TikTok of the most recent hit. Rihanna's current status as a hit artist makes it harder to predict what will happen, even though the hit is not her performance at the Super Bowl halftime show on February 12, or any other song for that matter. Rihanna missed a campaigning opportunity by not including even a small portion of Lift Me Up in her medley, which was as polarizing as nearly every halftime show. Even though the Oscar voting window has just opened, the show continues to be a topic of discussion more than two weeks after the game. The song race statistics point in two distinct directions. From Bruce Springsteen, Philadelphia, to Bob Dylan, Wonder Boys, to Eminem, 8 Mile, and Adele, Skyfall, Oscar voters have chosen a well-known singer-songwriter 16 times, or more than half of all wins. That list includes Lady Gaga, who was nominated for the Top Gun song along with Blood Pop, she won for Shallow from A Star Is Born in 2018. Might citizens consider the way that she as of now has an Oscar, or will her extensive commitments to the year's greatest film industry hit, she likewise teamed up on the film's score, help to influence casts of ballad or direction? Co-writing the song Wakanda Forever, with score composer Ludwig Garanson, Nigerian singer Thames, and director Ryan Coogler, earned Rihanna her first nomination. Since 2016, this was her first solo effort, and it was rejected. Two on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, and the fact that it was a sincere tribute to Chadwick Boseman, who was supposed to star in the sequel to Black Panther until his shocking and unexpected death from colon cancer, could influence voters, regardless of whether or not there is a bump from the Super Bowl. From everything everywhere all at once, the song This Is A Life is a complete wild card. Since it has received 11 nominations, the beloved film is considered a front-runner for Best Picture at the moment. However, the song, which was written by Byrne, Sun Lux's Ryan Lott, and Japanese-born singer-songwriter Mitsuki, did not reach the top of the charts. As one of the three composers who contributed to the score of 1987's The Last Emperor, Byrne has also won an Oscar. From Tell It Like a Woman, veteran songwriter Diane Warren received her 14th nomination for applause. However, the seven-part anthology film that was directed solely by women was almost never seen. The fact that Warren received an honorary Oscar in November for her entire body of work may give voters the impression that she already has the statue she has always deserved. This brings us back to M.M. Kiravani and Chandrabas's Natu Natu from RRR and the other side of those statistics. Fifteen of the 30 Best Song Awards have been given to films that haven't won any other awards in the past 30 years, or exactly half of them. This is now referred to as the consolation prize factor by Oscar observers. Films that won't win any other awards frequently receive a music award from voters. The Academy's only acknowledgement of the film is the song nomination because India did not submit RRR for international film. The wildly popular song Nadu Nadu from the crowd-pleasing action drama musical had already gone viral when it won a Golden Globe, beating out Rihanna and Lady Gaga and two other songs that were not nominated for Oscars. If it wins, Natu Natu would become the first Indian-produced film song to win an Oscar. The 2008 award for Jai Ho was given to Indian composer A. R. Rahman from the British-produced Slumdog Millionaire. Additionally, Oscar voters enjoy celebrating the un